Hello! Welcome to Easy English at Home YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to teach you some food vocabulary and meals of the day. Let's learn the meals of the day first. So, we have, in the mornings, we have breakfast. Breakfast is the first meal of the day. Then we have lunch. We have lunch at around 12 p.m. At noon we have lunch. Then the last meal of the day is dinner. We have dinner in the evenings. Okay, what about the things we eat for these meals? What do we eat for breakfast? What do we eat for lunch and dinner? Let's learn some vocabulary about that. So, first we are going to look at food for breakfast. Food for breakfast. We usually have cheese, olives, you can have black olives or green olives. We have eggs, so you can have boiled eggs or you can have fried eggs. Boiled or fried. You can have sausages, salami, cereal with milk, honey and butter. Many other things also, but today we're focusing on these words. What about the next meal? Lunch. What do we have for lunch and dinner? You can have similar things for lunch and dinner. So first, let's have a look. We start with healthy food. Salad. You can have soup. You can have pasta, rice, chicken, yummy, hmm? fish, beef, pizza or hamburger. You can also have many other things. Um, let's talk about drinks. What about drinks? Things we drink at the meals. First, for breakfast we usually have tea or you can have coffee. You can have coffee with milk. Why not? You can have mineral water, beer, coke, wine, fruit juice, and many other things. So basically these are the common words for food. What do you eat for breakfast? Let's think. In different parts of the world people eat different kinds of food for breakfast. So today I'm gonna take you to five different countries. What do they eat? Look at the food and tell me which country it belongs to. What kind of breakfast is this? First one, we have croissant and coffee. Yes, this is typical French breakfast. So this is from France, yeah? The second group, we have fried dough sticks, porridge. We have green tea. It belongs to China. Yes, so this is Chinese breakfast. China. The third group we have beans, eggs and sausages. And this is English breakfast for sure. Yes. Typical English breakfast. Group four. Cereal, milk or coffee. This is typical American breakfast, especially if you're rushing to work, you're in a hurry, you can have cereal and drink a cup of coffee. So this is from the USA. The last group, we have olives, cheese, tomatoes, butter, honey, eggs, and bread for sure. We have black tea. This is from Turkey. Yes, this is typical Turkish breakfast. Now, I've started four sentences here. Let's look at the menu and complete the sentences. I, I can say eat or have, okay? 
So I eat or I have. I have cheese, bread, and tea for breakfast. What about you? What do you have for breakfast? We, let's say I am Turkish, so I'm gonna say Turkish people, we, we eat definitely bread, olives and cheese. Bread, olives, and cheese. So breakfast with no cheese and olives is not breakfast for us. Next one, you. What about you? Let's say you have cereal for breakfast. You're in a hurry, yes? You have... Cereal for breakfast. The last one, they. Let's think about people from China. Yeah? They have, Chinese people have, they have fried dough sticks for breakfast. Yummy. We should all try. Okay, so let's remember food words and sentences with I, we, you, they. Typical breakfast. What about lunch and dinner? What do you usually eat for lunch and what do you eat for dinner? You can have salad. You can have beef, you can have chicken, or you could have soup if you want a light lunch. Many other things as well. Right, what about snacks? When you get hungry between breakfast and lunch, you feel a little hungry and there is a lot of time before lunch. What do you do? We have snacks right? So a snack is a small amount of food you eat between meals. It could be a handful of nuts, it could be some biscuits, cookies, chocolate, or you can have fruits as snacks. You can have apples, bananas, oranges and many other things. Oh, hi Alex, here we have him again. How are you? Would you like to join us? We're talking about snacks. Do you usually have snacks? He obviously does. What do you have as a snack? Alex has yogurt, walnuts, and some cookies as snacks. He also likes fruits, so he sometimes has a banana or an apple as a snack. Thank you, Alex, for sharing with us. What about you? What do you have? I'd like to have yogurt as a snack. Yummy and healthy. Good. Now, um, if you're ready, we can start to revise the words we learned. I'm going to give you a short quiz. Here is the first word. I want you to guess what it is. This is a six letter word. We usually have it for breakfast. It starts with the word C. You can have it with milk. You can have it with warm or cold milk. You put it in a bowl and pour the milk. So what is this? Cereal. Yes, the first word was cereal. What about the second one? This is a three-letter word and it starts with the word J. You can put it on the bread. It's yummy and sweet. What is it? You can have um, strawberry. You can have orange. What is this? Yes, it is jam. You can have strawberry jam. You can have orange jam. That was the second word. Right, now 
Word number three. This is a four letter word. You can have it for lunch. It starts with the word R. Yes, the second letter is I. It is white and you can have it with meat usually. Yes, rice. That's the correct guess. The last word is a three letter word. You usually have it for breakfast. You can boil it or you can fry it. Yes, an egg. You can eat eggs for breakfast. Good job. I hope this helped you remember the words we have done. Now, it's time for keywords and phrases. Let's remember. Today we'll learn meals of the day. Breakfast is the first meal of the day. Lunch is the second one. Dinner is the final meal of the day. We also learned the word snack. Snack is a small amount of food we have between meals. Food for breakfast cheese, olives, eggs, boiled eggs or fried eggs, sausages, salami, cereal, honey, butter, tomatoes, cucumber and bread. Food for lunch and dinner. Salad, soup, rice, pasta, chicken, beef, fish, pizza, and hamburger. We also looked at snacks, nuts, biscuits, cookies, chocolate, yogurt, fruits. We can have apples, bananas and oranges as fruits. We also looked at the structure, positive sentences with I, V, U, day. I eat cheese for breakfast. We have tea for breakfast. You have cereal for breakfast. They have yogurt as snack. Thank you for watching. You can find the practice files for today's lesson on the link in description. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!